Hello friends, today we would be doing Math Kangaroo Level 1 and 2, Year 2023, four point problems. I have done the three point problems, which is from question one to question eight as part of a separate video. I'll post the link in the description box. So this video we will be doing all the four point problems from question number nine to question number 16. So let's start with question number nine. There are five trees in a park. So these are five trees. One, two, three, four, five. A beaver can see only two of the trees because all the others are hidden behind other trees. At which of the mark points is the beaver standing? Now, what we have to understand is if suppose, uh, you know, we have to imagine, suppose if there is a smaller thing which is placed on a bigger thing, then you'll see the smaller thing and the bigger thing. But if, you know, the smaller thing is placed behind a bigger thing, then all that you will see is the bigger thing. You will not be able to see the smaller thing. So the same logic is being done here. Like for example, uh, for example, if you, if you are standing at point A, then if you look at the trees, you'll be able to look at this trees uh, and the beaver can see only two of the trees. But if suppose the beaver is standing at A, he'll be able to see this, he'll be able to see this, he'll be able to see this tree and also this tree. So at A, he'll be able to see four trees. This one you might not see because this one is bigger and, you know, so this might just get hidden. But he'll be able to see four trees. So A is not my answer because the question is saying that the beaver can see only two trees. So A is not my answer. Similarly, if you're standing at B, he'll be able to see this, this and this and also some amount of this. So again, he would be able to see three, three and a half trees. But the question says two trees. So B is also not my answer. Now, likewise, if we do for C, then he'll be able to see this, he'll be able to see this, and he'll be able to see this. So he'll be again able to see three trees, so not my answer. Now, if he's standing at D, if he's standing at D, he'll be able to see this and see this. These trees will get hidden behind this, and this will also get hidden behind this. So D will be able to see only two trees. So my answer will be option D. Question number 10. There are 24 squares in the picture. Suchit has colored some of the squares. How many more squares needs to be colored so that half of the squares are colored? Now they're saying 24 squares. Now instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, don't do it this way. There are 6 squares here, 4 here. So we do 6 times 4, 24. Now 24 is already is given as part of the question. But in some of the questions, they don't give it and we have to count. So don't waste time counting single, single squares. Just do 6 into 4, 24. Now they're saying Suchit has colored some of the squares. How many more squares needs to be colored so that half of the squares? So what is half of 24? It is 12. So I need to have 12 squares colored. How many are colored? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I do 12 minus 9, 3. So I need to color three more squares so that half of the squares are colored. Let's move on. Question number 11. The two tokens with the question mark have the same number. The two tokens with the question mark have the same number. Which token, what is each missing number so that the sum is 18? Now, what all numbers are visible? If I had 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus something is equal to 18. So if we do that, we'll find out that 12 plus 6, or I can do 18 minus 12, which is a 6. So 12 plus 6 is an 18, but then 6 is divided into two question marks. So you divide by 2. So each number is a 3 and a 3. So my answer is option C. Question number 12, Raha wants to finish the B on the left. This is the B on the left, according to the model on the right. So she wants to finish the B as per this. Now Raha needs to win points to unlock parts of the B. How many points does she need to win to complete the B? Now, if you see here, what is missing? This part is missing. So where is this? This is three. So I need to unlock Three. Then you have one I. I need one more I, which is this. So you need one. 
which is this. Okay, then you have one wing here. Okay, no, you also need this smile, which is number five. I need to add a five. And then I need this wing here, which is number four. Right? So we need to add it up. So three plus one, four. Four plus five is nine. Nine plus four is 13. So my answer is 30. Option E. Question number 13, the table has 30 boxes. If you see six here and five here, it's actually six into five, which is 35 boxes here. After painting the boxes in row three, row six, column three and column D, how many boxes will not be painted? So rows are basically horizontal lines and columns are basically standing lines. Okay, so what does the question say? Uh, after painting, uh, the box is in row 3. So you painted this box, you painted this box, this box, this box, which is row 3. And row 6, which is this, you painted these. And then column C, so you painted all the boxes in column C. And column D, so you painted these as well. So how many remain? How many boxes uh, remain that are not painted? So which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So my answer is option C, which is 12. Question number 14. A sheet of paper is folded in half. Square and round holes are punched. So this is a paper. It is folded into half. You have a square, square and a circle hole punched. How does the... How does the sheet look after it is unfolded again? So now uh, the question was, you, you put a circle here, punched a circle and a square here. So when you open the sheet, what will happen? The circle will also be near the edges and this one also be uh, near the edges. Okay, so which options can I eliminate? Uh, the squares will be together, A will go away. Okay, in case of C, again, the circle has to be here. So this is not the answer. Again, the circle will be towards the edges and the square will be near. So this is also not my answer. Again, D is not my answer because they're not equidistant. So my answer for 14 will be option B. Question number 15. A student made the shape using 12 cubes. He puts one drop of glue between any two cubes that are share a common face, how many drops of glue did he use? See, for this, like this two cubes when you're joining together, we have to see how many and how many places there is two, two cubes are joining together and he's used one drop of glue. So those many drops of glues we will need. So let's start from here. This is one, it's, it's, it's glued on one side, one. This is glued on two side, then three, then four, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, with 10, and 11. So my answer would be 11. Question number 16. Max wants to complete the puzzle down. Okay, he has five different pieces as shown. So this is the puzzle. He has to complete the pieces. He has five of these pieces. Which pieces does he have to use to complete the puzzle? He's already have this. How many pieces do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I need 10 pieces to complete it. First, let's just eliminate pieces, the number of pieces. So here, how many pieces do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this one is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This has 11 pieces. I need only 10 so I can eliminate a B. So D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, I need, uh, this has 7 pieces. I need 10 pieces. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This one again has 11 pieces. I can eliminate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This one has 9 pieces. I can eliminate this. I needed 10 pieces. So only option A has 10 pieces. So my answer will be option A. This is like the simplest way to do it. Else you can actually try fitting in. Like for example, if we try to fit in, suppose if I try to fit in this piece, this is like this. Okay, then this one is missing. 
uh, then this one fits in, but I need a two, right? So instead of trying to fit in, it's better to first do the counting of the number of squares. If the counting doesn't work, like if I have two pieces with the same number of squares, then we only use those two and try to fit in it, uh, fit that in. This is called as method of elimination. It works the best for such kind of questions. I hope you liked my video. I'll, I'll make another video for the five pointers, which is question number 17 to 24. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.